way after 1997. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, our floodway is essentially a gigantic ditch. It diverts the water around our city. And it's also actually the second largest earth moving project in the world. Wow. So it's second only to the Panama Canal. Wow. So the engineering community <laughs> really geeks out over wow. it and they find it pretty cool. That's where we met in the Panama Canal. Oh, awesome. <laughs> we did the Panama Canal cruise. That's how we met. Yeah, the Panama Canal is the only thing that surpasses our floodway, so that's pretty cool. Isn't that? I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, did you? neither did I, actually, until I got this job. So it was, <laughs> it was obviously pretty expensive, but it saved yeah. us over $40 billion in oh, flooding yeah, damages. Yeah. Dust yeah. ditch. Yeah, dust Not ditch. Problem. So we'll continue on down the river, and we'll check out something a little bit cooler this than some so lines. This is so fun. I think she might it. I've walked this trail like a million times. When we went to Australia to have a, a man-made pond for all their water drainage and kangaroos, and they actually rent out the old pond to go out there and go out and have a good day. Yeah. Sail around, get a half an hour, on your own. Do you remember that lake they had? With the cows out grazing in it. <laughs> they don't have much water there. Wow, look at the water over there. Okay, so my building is the second one. Uh, the yellow one. Yeah, not the brown one. Which one's there? The middle one. The middle one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's where Don't don't talk about her apartment. I'm videoing this. started in 1913 and it wasn't finished until 1920 and that is largely because of World War One. The exterior of the building is Tyndall Stone which is a type of limestone that's native to Manitoba. The quarry is actually just north of Winnipeg. So it's a stone that's famous for having lots of fossils in it. So you can actually find 450 million year old fossils on the exterior of the building. So we like to joke and say it's a building full of fossils. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> it's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> but we can vote them out. Yeah. <laughs> if, if only we could vote them out. out. <laughs> we can wish to vote them out. Yeah. Uh, so the uh, crown jewel of the legislative building would be the Golden Boy statue. So he's 17 and a half feet tall. He's made of bronze, but he's plated in 24 karat gold. So he's yeah, quite expensive. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to steal him yet, but if you know I can get a helicopter, okay. I'm sure I can make it happen. <laughs> so the Golden Boy looks northward, as that's said to be where the future of our province lies due to its vast natural resources. His torch in his right hand that lights the way for the future, and then in his left where he holds some wheat, that represents the agricultural richness of the southern part of our province. So the man at the foot of the building there, that's Louis Riel, he's widely considered to be the father of our province. So Louis Riel was Métis, meaning he was half French and half Indigenous, and he successfully led the Red River Rebellion and negotiated with the Canadian government to bring Manitoba into Confederation in 1870. Good job. Thank you. So he's commemorated numerous times throughout our province. He was a big advocate for both Francophone and Indigenous rights. There's even a school division named after him, where I went to school, fun fact. <laughs> 